Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to talk about Watch OS 5. I wanted to share with you guys my experience with Watch OS 5 so far, Beta 1. Now, keep in mind, Watch OS won't be launching until the fall, so a lot of these features may change before its official launch, and some of these are not even here just yet. For example, the Walkie Talkie application is a new app that allows you to communicate with other Apple Watch users using a Walkie Talkie method. It works over Wi Fi and also LTE. So, if you have the LTE model, you have a data connection, and the other person does as well. Say you're camping, you can just tap and hold and communicate with the other person as a walkie talkie feature. Now, the great thing about this application is that it doesn't require you to make a phone call, so it's an instant connection. It looks like a very promising application, very cool app, but still not here just yet. Now, I also want to talk about the control center. Control center in Watch OS 5 is now customizable. So if we scroll down, we click the edit button here, and now we can see that we can edit our control center here. So let's say I want this airplane mode option on the left. I just swipe it over here click the digital crown and boom it's right in place so a customizable control center is also part of watch os 5. now another new addition to watch os 5 is that you can now access the notification center from within applications before you couldn't do this the key here is to tap and hold on the top and then drag down and you see that the notification is accessible right there from within applications so you have new options and new pop-ups and way to deliver notifications as well just like you do with an ios where you can turn them off or you can have them to deliver quietly or simply jump into the settings and adjust those completely as you wish so notification center now accessible within applications and you can also access control center by tapping and holding and you can bring up control center directly within applications as well so pretty awesome here that you're going to have access to those features directly within applications now if we go to the control center we want to quit an application here we swipe to the left you get this big red x button here to delete the application from the control center so a lot happening in terms of ui very similar to ios 12 here with watch os sort of merging now in watch os 5 we also have the ability to view web content directly on apple watch before we couldn't do that so if i go to my email here i got an apple developer email here you see that there's some web content here that i can actually view directly on apple watch so this is pretty neat right here we have the ability to do that now if we go into settings since we now have the ability to go and view web content there's a new settings within the settings application that allow us to clean web data history so if we go here web data and history right there we can clear all that data directly on an apple watch because we have access to web data directly from emails and other attachments as well now a pretty cool feature built into watch os 5 is something that i didn't even know was there but it was really handy when it activated itself and that is automatic workout detection so when you forget to start your workout or end your workout apple watch notices that if you're going for a walk it reminds you hey are you taking a walk for you to start your workout right there for the walk this happened to me the other day as i was going for a walk it prompted me hey it looks like you're walking are you doing an actual walk did you forget to set up your actual workout and i did activate it right then and there and when i got home i forgot to deactivate it and it also reminded me so it's a really cool new feature that it really comes in handy because i tend to forget to activate my workout so it's a workout activation reminder really well thought out now there's also some other workout options that apple has added there's a bunch of new features within the workouts application we have hiking and we have yoga so those are new as well in watch os 5 now since do not disturb is now communicating with your contacts and also your calendar when you click on do not disturb in watch os 5 you have several options here you can enable it you can turn on for an hour until I leave this event, in case in your calendar you have an event from a certain time, it will enable Do Not Disturb automatically for that particular event. Again, since it's communicating with calendars, and you also have Until I Leave. That's going to be using GPS. So Do Not Disturb, great options and great updates there as well for watchOS 5. Now there's other features coming to watch os 5 that i yet can't share with you guys because they're not available as of yet one of them is rise to speak to siri you no longer have to use the phrase hey siri to activate it all you have to do is wrist detection will enable raise to talk to siri so when you do this it'll activate and you can just talk to your watch without having to use the siri command and use siri now, other features also include id cards for campuses and things like that so this was just a quick look at watch os 5 i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to leave a like make sure to subscribe here to the channel for more cool videos like this one it's been i device help thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one peace